What's up guys, today I have a really exciting unboxing of a few new puzzles. Okay, so as you can probably already tell from the title, in here is three different puzzles. We have the Shang Shao Killaminx, the King Kung Fu 2x2, and the YJ Guan Long Square 1. I may give away the 2x2 and the square one in my 1000 subscribers giveaway, which is the main reason why I got them after I review them and set them up and whatever. So let's get into this. Alright, so I'm going to be unboxing these from least exciting to most exciting, so let's get into the square one. Okay, so here is the YJ Guan Long square one. I just messed up the part where I took it out of the box, but that really doesn't matter. All I said was it has this thicker inner layer, which has, um, it's kind of like 1.5 times as big as the top and bottom layers, which I don't really see why they did that, because it just seems kind of awkward while I'm holding it. And I also said that it's a really cheap square one coming in at like $6. I did not do first turns though, so let's do that right now. Oops. Okay, this turns pretty well. The corner cutting doesn't seem to be that good, so I'm kind of locking up a little bit, though it actually turns really nicely. You can probably hear it, it's really smooth, and it kind of feels like a little swishy. Okay, the slice is really nice, and then these top and bottom layers also seem to be really good. Though, wow, corner cutting is actually really, really good on this, so I don't see why it's locking up so much. Just as I'm turning it, it's, ooh, just as I'm turning it, I seem to lock up a bit. That algorithm isn't that bad, but just on, like, parity when I'm using both the top and bottom layers. Yeah. I don't know, for $6, this seems really good. And if you have one of those like 2012 or 2013 square ones, this could be a big upgrade. Though, you guys will have to wait for my full review to see if it improves anymore. Anyone who has a Chi square one, you do not okay, need so now for the more exciting stuff. Right here we have the Kung Fu 2x2, which is another really cheap 2x2. But I've heard, even from a lot of fast people like Chris Olsen, it is actually really, really good. So I think I can open it up like, okay, there we go. Open it up from here, pamphlet, and here is the two by two. So it comes with this plastic wrap, which is nice, I guess. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it feels pretty solid in the hand. It is on decent tensions. So let's try first turns. Okay, wow. That is actually very, very, very good. If you listen to that, it is super, super smooth, and it's actually really, really nice. It, wow, corner cuts well too. Yeah, it corner cuts well, it's really smooth. I don't seem to be locking up whatsoever, really. And the only thing I'm having a problem with right now is the speed, kind of. It's a little too uncontrollable for me right now. But I feel like if I put some Traxxas 50k in this, this could be really, really, really nice. I will try to get a review up on this really soon. And I might do a comparison of this and, like, the YJ Yupo if I get that. Or maybe even the Guanto. Though, just right now, from first impressions, this cube is really nice, and in my personal opinion, just from first impressions, it is the best budget 2x2. Okay, two. now finally, for this Shang Shao 2x2 Killaminx, at least I think that's what it's called, I am super excited for this because I really like Mega Minx, and I average, okay, I'm like, I average like 120, so I think Killaminx would be really cool. I also hope this becomes a WCA event. But right now, I don't think it will. This is actually bigger than I expected it to be. 
but I am super excited for this, so let's get into first turns. Okay, that is really, really smooth. Wow. That is actually really, really nice. It's just hard to grip this because, I don't know if you can see it there, but there was a ton of lube on the outside. The tensions feel okay, but the turning quality actually is very, very nice. Let's see, I'll do like a corner cycle or something. Wait, that, that that's stupid. There's only corners, so it just solves it. Okay, that was really dumb, but whatever. It seems to be getting a little bit faster as I break it in. And I can tension it because I'm pretty sure... Ugh. Okay, there we go. These little things are actually caps. Those center pieces are actually caps, and you can see a screw down right there. So I'm gonna... Put this back on, okay, good. So this turns really, really well, and I am super excited to try some Killamix. So I might actually post a solve in like a day or so, or maybe closer to a week because I have a competition coming up. But so far, what I think, this is really nice, and I think for the price at like $11, you should definitely go and pick it up. guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this comment down below what you would like to see on my channel next and i will see you in my next video